<laughs> you gotta hear this story. It's whack. So I scheduled an appointment. So obviously it has to go through primary, right? So I'm a pretty thorough person. I've been around the block. I've had a few appointments. I've called doctors and dentists and orthopedics and specialists. So I know how this works. So I thought. So my primary refers me to get some stuff done. I have some usual things that you have to do when you're in your 50s. I know I don't look 50, but thanks. So I get a call yesterday. We got a referral. We want to schedule your appointment. So the referral was for my lower back and my right hip. We'll see you on October 10th. But the issue was on my left side and my right side and my lower back. So I called back this morning. So they said, I don't know why you're going to that orthopedic. We didn't refer you there. I said, oh, Lord. So I said, let me call and find out what's going on. So I called Dr. J. Not that Dr. J, but it is Dr. J. I can tell you who it is. You're not going to know who in the hell it is and where or whatever. Dr. Jacobson. It's Dr. J. I told you it was Dr. J. Let me back up a second. When I talked to my primary doctor's secretary, she wasn't very patient this morning. I was very patient. She must have been in the weeds. Anyways, it gets better. So back to Dr. J. So now I'm talking to Dr. J's secretary. So I said, how did you guys get my referral? Because I was referred to Dr. A, not Dr. J. They said Dr. A and Dr. J merged. I said, how did my primary not know this? I was like, now I understand, but it gets better. So I said, I just want to make sure that you guys accept my insurance. She said, I can't answer that. I have to send you to intake. So I speak to Chris and in intake. She's amazing. Whatever they're paying her, it's not enough. So she proceeds to explain to me that I cannot go see the same doctor, Dr. Alstein, for, that's Dr. A, for both my back and my hips. He's only hips. I said, well, the initial referral is only for the right hip. I need both hips. She said, well, it only shows for the right hip, so you can only see him for the right hip. She said, well, that's Dr. Finkelberg, Dr. F, the Finkster, the Finkarama, the Finkster. I found out she's very fond of him, by the way, Chris, that is, of Dr. Finkenberg, not Dr. A. I said, well, I asked my primary this morning to update the referral to have both right and left x-ray, bursitis or something. I said, can I schedule the right and left hip and the back, two different doctors, in the same day? Absolutely not. <laughs> I said, okay, if the referral gets updated to the right and the left hip, is Dr. A going to be able to see? It's not Dr. A, actually. It's the physician's assistant. Anyways, can I still keep my October 10th date? Absolutely. I don't see that being a problem. But even if there's appointments open on the same day, you cannot see Dr. A for the hips and Dr. Finkenberg for the back on the same day. I don't know why I didn't go there, but you can't see them on the same day, even if there's appointments in a back-to-back -back situation. <laughs> so I said, Chris, do you want me to call my primary back? She's like, no, I'm going to call. I said, just be prepared. My primary secretary was not very patient this morning. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I don't know if you want an update to the situation. Let me know in the comments. But the good part about Dr. J is that I can do the x-rays in the same place and I don't have to go somewhere else. I need blood work done too.